Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am finally sitting down to film a very highly requested video, which will actually only be part one of a three-part series, and that is my sticker organization system. I have been using stickers in my planner for as long as I can remember. Like, I'm trying to think back, but I feel like I used to get like a little sheet of stickers, but I used the planners from school, but I remember putting things in like birthdays. I don't know where those stickers came from, but definitely once I got to college, I was using a Lily Pulitzer planner and those came with stickers. So I definitely used stickers in college. And then when I switched to Erin Condren in 2013, I obviously started using stickers. And at first it was just the stickers at the back of the planner and then maybe some stickers I found at like the dollar store or whatever. But it wasn't until I really started digging into Etsy shops that I grew a sticker collection that was way out of control. It is, it's still way out of control. And I store them in a number of different ways and I changed my system over time and sometimes it can be changed when I change my mind and sometimes it can't. You'll see as we go through this. There are some things that I used to do that I don't like that I did that way and I wish I could change it. I will tell you I did a lot of purging as I was prepping for this video. I got rid of a lot of stuff. So this is definitely the downsized collection, but also while I was prepping for this video, I realized some things about my collection or about my storage system that I really would like to change. And I'll talk about that a little bit. So similar to the apartment tour, we're gonna call this sort of a before. Like this is sort of my current state of how I store my stickers and some of how I've been storing them for years. And I'll tell you some of the things I wanna change. And then maybe once I finally get around to changing them, I will film a follow-up video and show y'all that as well. So again, this is gonna be part one of a three-part series. I'm going to show three different sets of organization. The first one that we're going to do today are these big giant binders. These are from the container store. They are like a normal sized eight and a half by 11 binder. And these are all sort of category stickers. Like everything is in a category. You'll see as we go through all of them. Hopefully this won't be super long. I'm gonna try and get through them relatively quickly. And then the other two videos we'll do are shop specific stickers. So I have a couple shops where I store their stickers by their shop alone. And so we'll do those as one video. And then the last video will be kits, both weekly and monthly, how I store them, as well as the binder that I call my like most used sticker binder, the one that I go to every week when I plan. All right, so let's, oh my gosh, I don't even know which one of these I wanna start in. I'm trying to think which one shows the best, like, let's just start on the top with this red one. Again, these binders are from the container store and they're really nice binders. I mean, mine have taken a beating. I have, like I said, I have had them for years now, probably three to four years at this point. So they have taken a beating, but they are from the container store. I will try and find a link to them below. And then inside I have these dividers and I like the ones that have a pocket in, in front and I'll explain that as we go through for a couple of reasons. The other thing you'll see a lot of in this video are kitty chew marks. Charlie loves to chew on plastic and I used to try and I would replace the dividers as soon as they got really bad. I haven't in a while. I might, maybe now that I'm storing them somewhere where she can't get to them normally, it might be worth the investment to reinvest in them. Anyways, here is where we're at right now. So this binder is, again, they're all categories, although maybe this wasn't the best one to start with, but we're here now. So this first category used to be sampler kits and I used to keep samplers in here. Now the only sampler kits that I have are these Chrissy and Design ones that came with her full-size sticker binders. She does not do full-size sticker binders anymore, but if you get a small one, you still get a sample kit. And then in this front pocket, I have all of my Erin Condren stickers, all of them. And I don't like them here because I don't look at them. I don't know. These, I need to do something about this because this is not a good use of these stickers. Like it just, they don't get used in this pocket. So that is what this is. And then these are empty sheets from old Chrissy and Designs sticker sheets. What I really want is to be able to buy these. And I'll explain why when we get to one of the other binders, but I really want to buy these like full size sticker sheets that I can three hole punch. All right, so let's start flipping. So again, I don't have any other samplers. This section used to be kits. Like it used to be weekly kits. And I have since moved those to another binder. So this section is empty and I haven't found a new category that needs to live in there yet. Maybe I'll make this my like YouTube category. Although really, let's be real. I just use those Coffee Monster Co. All right, the next category is to-dos and planning. So we have these little check boxes from Christian Designs and then just a variety of different planning stickers. So these are Lily Henry Scribble Prints Planner-esque. I'm not sure if 
her shop is still around. I'm going to try to link every shop that I reference in the description box. Not obviously with what stickers they had because that, that is going to be the longest description ever. But I'll try to link every shop I remotely reference during this flip through. And then One Orange Snowflake. Oh, I forgot the name of this shop. It was like Juicy? Some ju juice? Ju oh, something like that. I'm not sure where these are from. And this is Hello Ashley Ann. I, I don't know if she still has a shop. Ashley Ann, she has a YouTube channel, but I don't know if she still has a shop. Okay, so the very first way that I stored stickers was actually by double side taping them. I'll, these are coming off, you can see, on to cardstock. And in retrospect, I would never do that again. While it did make it easy to see them and flip through them, it did not make it easy to like take them on the go if I wanted to travel or to move them around if I wanted to move them around. And so you can see, I actually used to do this on a, this is coming off, on a, on black. So this one was originally on a black piece of cardstock and then I cut it out and moved it to white. I, I don't know. In retrospect, again, not how I would have wanted to store my stickers, but you'll notice a lot of old stuff is on cardstock like this. All right. And then we have these page protectors. So actually let's go to this one. So this was the old style that I had where they were top down and they were a little bit wider this way, like vertically, but they were definitely a little bit more narrow this way. Actually, that's vertically on the sticker sheet and then horizontally. Um, but these are the old ones. I cannot find these anymore, like this Staples brand of these top in ones. If somebody has those or knows, I, I tried to find them once and I couldn't, and these are the only ones I could find. So these are side entry, which fits most of them, but you've got to trim some shops. Like some shops, the stickers don't fit. I do like this method, especially keeping it in a big binder like this. And so the reason I like these big binders is because I can fit more and I don't take a ton of my stickers on the go with me. Some people take their stickers with them when they're going to to different places. They'll plan in different places. Now, when I travel, obviously I have to take them with me, but most of the time I'm planning at home. So I don't, I don't want to change my system to get out of these big binders. That's definitely not it. And so I do like this system. The only downside is that some shops you've got to trim and they don't actually fit. And so you'll see that's mostly what I've done now at this point is these kind of page protectors and then moving on to the next category. So the next category is household. Then I did some funky things with various shops. So this is from Lily Henry, which is one of the shops that I have stored by themselves. And you'll see that when we get to that video. But when it fits into a specific category, I wanted to put it in here. And this size sheet isn't going to fit in this type of page protector without a bunch of trimming. Even if I trim like all the way here, I still don't think it fits. So I decided to add some extra holes and put it here, which actually worked. So I have all the household related stickers from Lily Henry here. I think I've mentioned before, by the way, her shop is currently closed uh, due to personal reasons. She has not mentioned when she's going to reopen again. You're gonna see a lot of her stickers here. I really do love her stickers and I'm crossing my fingers that she reopens, but I just, I want y'all to be aware of that. So this category is all things that I do at home. So we've got a bunch of different laundry stickers. I have no idea where those are from. This is Scribble Prints and this is stickers Washi and More. Again, the old style on the cardstock, Libby and Co. And then this one I left just to show you. I was gonna throw it away and then I was like, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show it to them. Why someone who does not have to take the trash or the recycling out on a specific day every week because I live in an apartment thought that she needed this many trash and recycling stickers is beyond me. And how I squished them all so that they would fit, it was like playing Tetris with my sticker sheets. It was just ridiculous. And then the same thing on the back. like. Oh, what on earth would you use those for? I am going to take the sheet out. I was just waiting to show it to y'all so that you could see like how I used to Tetris my sticker sheets and how I got stickers that I definitely don't need. All right, then we have some like dishwashy stickers from Libby & Co, more Libby & Co. And then we got into the pouches. So we've got rack, paper, scissors, these cute clean out the fridge. Although like this is something that I do, but it doesn't take me so much time that I needed that big of a sticker for it. I just put it on a to-do list and check it off. And these little house stickers from Christy and Designs. We've got these house ones from Planner Kate. Water plants for the plants that I don't have. And then I also have some like bath and relaxation stickers. I know household doesn't really make sense with that, but it's something I would do at the house, so I have them here. Blue Scooter Press, more rack paper, rack paper stickers. Uh, one Orange Snowflake, and then more Blue Scooter Press. Those are like relaxation type stickers. All right, the next category is travel. So the biggest reason that I like the ones with the pockets, two things. One is when you have sticker box, sticker boxes, sticker 
sheets that are too big for this and you're like not ready to cut them down or you don't want to cut them down, then they can live in the pocket. Also, when I am not, I'm like out of space in these. Now I have more of these like somewhere in my apartment, but I'm in that moment when I get those stickers, I don't want to go flipping through and, and getting a new one of these. So I just stick them in there for the time being and then eventually they'll move their way to a sheet protector, if that makes sense. So some of my travel stickers went with me to Chicago and then I just stuck them in here. I mean, not the Disney ones, but the suitcase ones. Same thing. I have some stickers that I've just added like extra holes and put the sheets up here. And then I think I've gotten rid of all the travel stickers that were on the cardstock and now we just have pockets. And so these are like the little stickers from Japan maybe, but I, I don't really use them, but I can't bring myself to get rid of them yet. And then we've got these cute drawn ones from the sticker party. Some Mickey ones. These are Lily Henry. These are Lily Henry. These I made myself. These are one orange snowflake. Oh, hello stationery. The sticker party. I got these because I love Texas, but like, <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to use these. Look at that long horn. All right. And then these I made myself. And then this was a, one of the samplers from, I think it was from Go Wild. Yeah. Wild in Austin. And I love this. And I'm so excited because Although it says India on here, but it doesn't have, oh, there's the Taj Mahal. I might get to use that little sticker. Look how cute he is. And then, oh my gosh. So Kristen, when she came to visit Kristen Damien of Kristen Designs, she was home in my apartment by herself and she wanted a taxi sticker, which at the time was in this Aaron's one. I no longer have those stickers because again, why I needed a whole sheet of taxi stickers is beyond me. But she used one because it was the first time she ever rode in a taxi. Not funny. So this is the Aaron's category. So we've got mail. Again, I don't know when I'm gonna use all these mail stickers because it's, again, it's not something that I put in my planner. If I do, it's on a to-do list, like go to post office. Although these little boxes came in handy when I was packing up my apartment, but look at all these. And then grocery shopping is, is with the mail more grocery shopping. I'm not listing the shops here. Sorry, y'all. So a bunch of scroll prints, scroll prints. I can't remember what these are from. This might be one orange snowflake that looks like her color scheme. Juice box paper. That was that other one from the other page. This is a design pandemonium's old shop name, which is planner pandemonium. More rack paper scissors. These are both Lily Henry. Hello, Ashley Ann. Oh my goodness. I can't remember where these are from. And when shops don't put their shop name on there, I'm like, well, I don't know where you came from. Sorry. All right. The last category, nope, two more, is out and about. So this is sort of out and about that's not errands, if that makes sense. So it's a lot of date night friend things. Sam is Jewish, so I got these if we were to go to any sort of like Jewish events, Shabbat dinner or anything like that, which we've gone to. I'm not sure why I haven't used these. Um, date stickers, shopping stickers, that's like out and about girls night shopping stickers although wash brushes that's kind of that's not a shopping sticker uh church stickers some more girls night shopping the wedding stickers from Erin Condren Target more church stickers these are from Christiane Designs some more church stickers these are from peanut butter taco these are Lily Henry the dentist board games, because that's not really out and about, but it kind of goes with date night. That's probably why I put it here. You can see how these Lily Henry sheets just don't fit. It They don't fit in really either of these, which is sort of annoying. Church stickers, some more date night, date night. We have a lot of dates to go on, Sam. I have a lot of stickers for date nights. He's poking me, but not saying anything. And then the last category is media. So that is sort of movies, TV, laptops, at pictures, cameras, anything related to that. So I've got like, you know, the little laptop girl from Lily Henry. I love this one because that hair color is like perfect. The Netflix binge stickers, although they don't sell these anymore because of copyright. Now they, they say something else. And then we've got some little movie stickers. Ooh. Some more movie stickers. These are Libby and Co. Little laptop stickers. Those are Lily Henry. The blog stickers that I've used none of, even though I have written on a blog. USB stickers, I mean, so cute, but like, did I use one of them? Nope. Camera stickers, the little piano stickers. Again, I love these and they're so cute and I only use them when we go to my favorite piano bar. Some more like phone stickers, more Netflix stickers, tickets, movies, TVs, computers, movie night. These are cute, these are from Chrissy and Designs. And then movie night, Game of Thrones, and some more little movie reels. So that is that binder. That one, again, is sort of 
it's all over the place, but category wise, like categories. And then these are all, everything is gonna be categories though. That is why I use these big binders is so that they are all specific categories. So this teal one is, um, they don't really, the other two binders have a theme. The red and the teal are just kind of categories. So this one starts with birthday. So we've got some birthday stickers here from Design Pandemonium. I need to punch these so I can put them here. Actually, I probably put them here behind it. But here are some old ones on cardstock. This is Chrissy and Designs. This is Lily Henry. Some more cardstock ones. This category is studying. When I used to study for actuarial exams, I had a whole category for studying. Now it's sort of just if I'm going to read. It's like books and school related stickers. I'm not going to get rid of any of these stickers because I definitely could still use them in my future, whether it's for me or who knows what. But it's it's not a category I go to as often anymore. So we've got a lot on cardstock here. Oh, for a second, I tried these things. So these work on both. It's like adhesive on one, on one side and then holes on the other. And you can cut them if you want to use it in a smaller binder. I was using it on the Libby & Co. sheets and the big binder, but you can also cut them for the smaller ones. I tried everything, y'all. I tried the accordion folder. I, I mean... I still don't know that I have sticker organization piece, but I have had so many requests to share my storage with you. So that is what we're doing. We've got lots of pencil stickers, more pencils, more just school supplies. Oh, I'm, I'm not saying the shops again. It's hard. This is One Orange Snowflake, Chrissy and Designs. It's a lot of the same shops. So maybe from now on, I'm not going to tell you what shop it is unless it's a new shop. And if you have a specific question, you can ask in the comments, but I will link every shop that I reference. So unless, again, an, Unless it's a new shop, I'm not going to point it out from this point forward because it will be linked. And the other thing is, even if I do point out the shop, some of these sticker sheets may not be available because they're so old. So like this is one orange snowflake and she still is a shop and I will link her shop. But I don't know that these specific pencils are still going to be there. So just something to keep in mind. And then some of these are stickers that either I made or friends of mine made for me. Like these ones that are based on the emojis, a friend made those for me. I don't think you can actually sell these legally. And then these are like the Mrs. Grossman stickers. Y'all remember that? When I used to scrapbook with my mom, I use those a lot. And then we got to the pocket ones. This is a shop, I don't, Rima Nur. I'm not sure that's how you say it. I had never ordered from her before. I don't know if there was like a coupon code or something. I used a couple of them. The hippie planner, same thing. I, I would order a lot from shops when I was getting like study stuff. And then the pockets and the pockets and that's it. All right, the next category is health and fitness. This is exactly what it sounds like. So we start with this cardstock. I don't know that I will ever go back and use these. Somebody sent, a friend sent these to me when I was going to do Pio and maybe I will, maybe I'll use them. But on the back are the yoga ones and I like the yoga ones. So, and I tried to get this off so that I could, you know, get rid of the cardstock, but it's like, it's pretty stuck on there. Got a bunch of workout stickers more workout stickers, non-scale victory stickers, some little weights, like scales. And then these workout stickers, these are from Christian Designs. I have a ton of these, a ton of these. And if you've watched any of my plan with me's, you notice that I started making my own workout stickers so that the colors match the kit that I'm using specifically. But I still do have a ton of these Christian Designs ones and I love them, I do love them. Take measurements, again, the same, same shop. This is nothing against rack paper stickers. Her sh stickers are very cute, but this is something that I don't necessarily need to mark in a, in my planner because it doesn't take up that much time. It's just like a check off thing that I do. And then just some more workout stickers. These are from Small Town Grace. This is from a shop that is no longer around. Um, some dance stickers, dance stickers, more dance stickers. So that's like the workout fitness category. All right, the next category is sports. So this is one of those sticker sheets that's like way too big for the pouch. So I just keep it here. And this little Bebo die cut that I got from a shop. So one of the other things I did at 1.2 back when I had scraps of things or when having little stickers like this was really popular, I had these sheets that have 10 spots, I guess, for small pictures and I would stick things in. I almost got rid of this too, but I wanted to make sure y'all saw that. So if this works for somebody, it really annoys me and I don't want to have stickers like this anymore. But again, I wanted y'all to be able to see that. So, so this is mostly football and basketball and you will see some stuff with logos. If it has a logo, it was sent to me by a friend because you cannot, well, I'm about to turn the page. 
you're not supposed to sell logos. And there is a shop that did this one. And I'm not sure how she got away with it or is getting away with it, but she did or does. And I, I don't, did I buy them or did someone give these to me? I don't know if I would feel comfortable buying them now. It's just, it's a little crazy. Even this one, like the rest of it's pretty generic, but that's the logo. Like you're not supposed to be able to sell the stuff with the logos, but oh well, it's kind of late now. And then we got a lot of football, football Sundays, more football. And then we have basketball. That's weird. Okay. These are really old from Christian Designs. Oh, geez. And then basketball. These are mine. I bought this like Spurs digital paper from someone online and have been and used it to make stickers for myself. This is from like the actual Texas store, like the University of Texas website store. They had these stickers and I will cut them apart to use them in my planner. These are ones that a friend sent me. And then we get to the pouches. So we have more. These are ones I make myself now at this point. This is from, oh my gosh, these are so cute. So this shop, she was doing a giveaway in Planners Gone Wild and I won. And it's called Burnt Owl Studio is the name of the shop. And look at those little Bevo stickers. And then these, these are so old. You can find these on Amazon though, but I love having them for the rare occasion that I do a sport that's not basketball or football. So we've got little soccers and little baseballs and little softballs. And then I have more softballs because I did used to play softball as part of my uh, job program, but I don't anymore. And then we've got some more spurs that I made myself and then cowboys these ones I made myself. And that is the sports category. I am clearly an avid sports fan, have a lot of sports stickers. All right, so the next category is food. And this one has something interesting. So I got rid of all of my samplers recently. I was like, I don't go look at samplers. Like this is ridiculous. And so what I did was I took the stickers from samplers that I did think I would use and I put them in their category. So like these are all the food stickers from samplers that I thought I would use and I put them in the food category. Now I still don't really reference this all that much but some of these stickers are so cute. And some of them I actually have full sheets of like these brunch ones, these meal prep ones, but I didn't want to get rid of the one that was on the sampler. So we have these, these are both Lily Henry, I love them. I'm gonna be sad when these run out if she has not reopened yet. And so this one is just a bunch of food stickers. It's meal prep or when I'm going out to eat and specific types of food, little brown lunch bags. Again, Mrs. Grossman stickers, fruits and vegetables, farmer's markets, all those little sushi dudes, meal prep. This one I use a lot as I, cause that does take a significant amount of time. And so I will put it on a sticker. This one I will use if I'm like going out to eat. Oh, I have a whole backup sheet. Look at that. I'm ready to go. All right. And then we have drinks. Drinks gets their own category from food because I have a lot of drink stickers as well, both coffee and alcohol related. So we've got some that are just in here. These are um, design pandemonium like stickers recently that I got that I need to punch to be able to put in. And then I did the same thing with the sampler here because I didn't want to lose all these cute like cup stickers. So we've got lots of wine stickers. This is Maclo, I think is how you say that, planner goodies. I will, this is a new shop, so I'm mentioning it. And then just lots of drink stickers. Oh, look at these tea ones that I didn't remember that I had. And then just some more, I like these big cup ones. More stickers, these are from Libby & Co. This was back when she made big giant sheets. I know she doesn't do that anymore. Now she makes like smaller sheets. And then some more back here in the pockets. So just lots of drink stickers. I guess I could combine these. I don't know why there's a bunch of empty slots here. Um, but just coffee and wine and some beer as well. All right, and then I have a category called finances, which again, back when I fell down the sticker rabbit hole, I you know felt like I needed every sticker that existed. I don't plan my finances in, on paper. I have to do it digitally. I have to do it in Excel. I have a video on that if you're interested, but I don't know what to do with all of these. Like, do I just get rid of them? I just, I don't think I will ever use them. The only thing I could see myself using them for is to mark that like I'm working on my budget, but a girl doesn't need this many finance stickers to mark that. And then the last category is animals, which is mostly stuff for Charlie. It's mostly if I'm gonna mark that I'm gonna take Charlie somewhere, which is not that often. <laughs> I don't take her that many places, but I do have stickers just in case that's a situation. And, and then there's some other random animals in here too. 
like these little zoo creatures. I like these if I'm gonna go somewhere like that to the zoo. And then, oh my gosh, I remember when Design Pandemonium had these photo stickers where you could send, you could upload a photo and have like photo stickers made. And I think the real intention was for people to do it for their kids, but they sent me ones of Charlie. Look how cute she is. Oh my gosh. And, and then more cat food. So that's it. That's this category. All right, now we're in a binder that has some sort of theme going on and you will see. So the first part of it is quote stickers. Now I love quote stickers, especially since I work a nine to five. I usually use a quote sticker to mark the time that I'm at work in my planner. So I have half box quotes and full box quotes and I used to store them in a way that I a thousand percent regretting doing this. It is so annoying and I just, I, I don't know the solution. I don't know yet, but I hate it. Let's start with the fact that I cut them all apart. Every, like I cut them all individually and I store them in rainbow order. And these are the half box ones that I did in these little like three by three page protectors. And they're just all in color order. And I never go look at them. Like I never look at these. I always look at either my design pandemonium quote binder that's where I go first because that one's color coordinated. You'll see that in a later video and I go there first. Or then I will flip through these, which are half box quotes that I have not taken apart that are more recent and they're in these in these page protectors. So I don't know. I Because this is all, most of it is like matte paper, I don't know that I can just like take it off and stick it on like a, a blank sticker sheet. I don't know yet. I need to figure that out because I, the quote situation is one of the big things that I'm trying to fix or change. All right. And then I did the same thing with the full boxes, the same darn thing. Look at all of these. Oh my God. What was I thinking? Oh, this makes me so frustrated because these all used to be on like beautiful pages and now they look ridiculous and they are, it's so not functional. Oh, all right. Anyways, so that's my quote situation. I have so many stickers that I would love to use, but I forget that they're there. And then here are all the ones that I didn't cut apart. You can see most of my quote stickers are Design Pandemonium or Chrissy and Designs. And the, these are from the Hippie Planner, these Game of Thrones ones. But the rest of them, I'm pretty sure, are just those two shops. Mm, these uh, were made by a friend. Oh, well, oh, these are juice box paper. It looks like something got messed up there. All right, and then the next category was emojis. I have not used a lot of these in a while, but these were drawn by, this was, I think, the first, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, somebody in the planner world, that this was the first collab between Cindy and Kristen were these little emoji dudes. And then I remember begging Kristen to do these little guys from the Facebook stickers because they're my favorite Facebook stickers, and she finally did them. I used to use them a lot more in my planner. I don't know what stopping me now but oh they're so cute this little red one's my favorite and then we have all of the season so when I have holiday stickers related to a specific holiday that's what a holiday sticker is like and they go in their season so this is spring so I have this leftover sheet from Chrissy and Designs from the celebrations collection mostly I just want to use these rainbow strips and then this is a really old sheet from Chrissy and Designs I don't know if I'll ever end up using it but I can't bring myself to get rid of it oh my gosh so we have Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day and Easter and a little bit more St. Patrick's Day. And then we go into summer, which has like mostly just beach type stuff. Oh, I don't know if we haven't come across anything from Lexi Kylie yet. I love these beach day stickers that she makes. Um, more beach stickers. And then we have the fall, which is Halloween. Mostly just Halloween and then fall related things. Oh, Thanksgiving. That, that's also in the fall. And then we have Christmas. No, we have winter. Like we have winter. It's not just Christmas. So we have Christmas quote stickers and then the stick sheet from Erin Condren. Oh, these Christmas light bulbs are so cute. And then some Hanukkah stickers. More Hanukkah stickers. Oh, I forgot I had a full sheet of these. Note to self, do not buy a Hanukkah kit for 2019. And then the last category in this binder is decorative, which is mostly just all my Harry Potter stickers for the most part. There's a couple other decorative sheets back here, but for the most part, oh my God, I forgot about these. These might've been actually the first collab between Cindy and Kristen were these little planner famous crowns. Oh my gosh, you have to see these. Oh, 
how cute are those? Planner royalty, sorry, planner royalty. Oh my gosh, so old. All right, one more to go. Okay, this last binder shouldn't take as long because I have definitely trimmed this one down. And this is the binder that contains all of my blank shapes, if you will. So everything that is like a rectangle or a box that is blank and has nothing on it goes in this binder. So Kristen left a note here as well, and I haven't taken it off. I mean, this has been here for, what did we determine, Kristen? That was three years in November it has been here. So that's kind of crazy. All right, so the first category is event stickers, which is what somebody in the planner world named the ones that have space, like a space here for a time and then a blank space here. So this is from a Chrissy and Designs binder kit when she did the full size binders. And I have moved in extra stickers to fill in the space when I use them to sort of make the most of these first couple pages. And then I have one page, one page protector of them. And then we have rectangles and I've done the same thing. This is mostly Christian design. Some of it is design pandemonium, I think, to sort of fill in the spaces here. So we've got this page of rectangles, this page of rectangles, this page of rectangles, and then we have these page protectors of them. And then we have half boxes, same thing. And I really love this system, although you'll see when we get to full boxes, those are my favorite. That's my favorite setup. And I want to do that to my half boxes, but like it's a daunting task and I don't know that I'm ready for it, but I think once I do it, I would absolutely love it. So just uh, again, most of these, the original page was from a Chrissy Ann Designs sticker sheet. And then I've added stuff in to fill in the space. And then we have a, oh, we have, we still have some cardstock in here. Oof. And then page protectors. And then, oh, the full box ones. So for the full box ones, I actually did it by color, which I love because when I'm planning, that's how my brain works. I'm like, oh, I need a teal full box. And then I can go and just flip to the teal and they're all together. And I mean, there's some spaces because I've you planned since I did this setup and I just love it. I love it. And I want to do this to the half boxes and the rectangles although that sounds so intimidating. And I wanna do this to like my old kits that I haven't used. Like I want to put them on here. It would just oh, it would just make my planning so much easier. So those are the full boxes. And then we have small flags, which is these two sheets of stickers. And we have large flags, which these are mostly Lily Henry, like these large flags, which I still do really like sometimes in place of a full box. I should probably just put them with the full boxes in reality. And then I had a category called circles, teardrops, and scallops that I've since gotten rid of everything. And then we have miscellaneous, which has these stickers from Lily Henry that I liked, but I would use these in place of a rectangle. So they should really just go live with the rectangles. But then we have some other odd shaped things. These are from Chrissy and Designs. I don't even know y'all, but this binder is definitely the most like trimmed down of all of them. That is the end of part one of the sticker storage series of these big binders, these big giant ones from the container store, mostly by category, and just some things that worked, some things that didn't, and some things that I would like to change going forward, but I kind of have to figure out what the process is gonna be. I am excited to have sort of thought through it a little bit, and it is definitely not a high on my priority list of things to like organize and declutter in my apartment, but maybe someday this year. It doesn't make it impossible for me to plan and to live. You know what I mean? So it's not, it's not that big of a priority, but it is something that I would like to do. Let me know in the comments, how do you store your stickers? We still have some more storage methods coming. We still have some small binders by the shop, which sometimes I like by the shop. Sometimes I don't, you'll see that. And then we have how I store kits and my go-to every not every day, but every week stickers. So let me know in the comments, how do you store your stickers? Are you a small binder, a big binder? Are you not a binder person? Are you an accordion person? That definitely didn't work for me. I didn't, I didn't like not being able to see all of my stickers. Everyone is different though. Everyone has a different style and a different brain and organization methods work differently for everybody. So I like hearing about other people's organization systems and keep an eye out for part two and three of this series coming the following week. Make sure you click subscribe so you don't miss those. I do upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and thank you so much for joining me today. Happy planning. I'm trying not to let this binder fall, but I'm gonna try and get them, get, blah. Ugh. Okay. The only thing I could see them using, see me, blah. Stay down, please. Storage series, 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 sticker short and series.